Spending time at the ocean is, is where, where I'm happiest. My father was a Navy diver and growing up he used to share his incredible tales of his adventures into the underwater world. His passion inspired in me a passion and deep connection with the ocean and the creatures that call it home. When you free dive, you take this breath and you swim down under the ocean and it's silent. Except for all of the noise that's coming from the coral reef, this crackling and popping kind of noises. But as you, as you dive into this place, it's, it's, it's quiet. There's no noise from the outside world, right? The world that most of us know. But then add in 11 bull sharks, adult bull sharks swimming around you, and you get some excitement added into this incredibly calm, serene kind of place. I'm a marine biologist, so I studied my master's degree in South Africa. I was always crazy about fish. Uh, my whole life, I've, I've had fish tanks in my lounge, living room, bedrooms, everywhere, bathrooms. About 11 years ago, this project popped up in Mozambique and we got to go on this adventure to uncover, well, the lives of bull sharks that we didn't know anything about. The incredible thing about that part of the ocean is, is crystal clear water. And, and lots of apex predators. So it's still a really untouched part of the ocean. We get out there, we find where these animals are, we've identified the animals that we, there are maybe gaps in the information, then figure out how to catch them, bring them up next to the boat, measure them or take samples from them, tag them. You can imagine that's a pretty exciting moment, getting this 500 pound shark up next to the boat, uh, do this work and then uh, as quickly as possible get it back into the water and then follow it. We can use that information to, to figure out better ways of protecting these animals uh, and that's really what my main focus is, is taking that information and figuring out ways of better protecting these animals. So, so when you study a marine science degree, uh, you're taught that, that you apply for funding grants. In my experience it's really challenging to find those grants. I've, in, in effect, been forced into becoming an entrepreneurial scientist. We have used uh, tourism really successfully to earn income to pay the bills, to take people out and share these animals and stories with uh, interested travelers, scuba divers, or people here in Cape Town on my Cape Peninsula tours. With COVID pandemic and, the, and global lockdowns and, and the restrictions on travel, uh, the in-person tourism stopped pretty much overnight. And so I, I transitioned into an online space, a massive brooder's whale swimming in from the side, opening up its mouth and taking out the entire ball uh, right in front of you. The research that we do provides me with the story that I tell, so your booking directly supports uh, the work that we do. What is the one thing that I'd like people to take away from these online experiences or to learn or know about the ocean? Well, the ocean is alive. Uh, you walk up to the edge of the ocean on the beach or on the rocks, and I think a lot of people think that that's the end of the environment. There's, there's not much after that under the watery world, but it is alive. I am an eco-optimist, self-proclaimed, because I feel like there's, there are so many solutions out there, we just need to adopt them. And if we, we have an optimistic approach to it, we can find these solutions, we can enact them before it's too late. We can save places of the planet that still operate in a healthy way and counteract some of the, the, the negative impacts that we've had on the planet and the ocean.